Hi, this is Scott. Welcome back to another Hollinger Team video blog. Um, thanks for all the questions and the comments that uh, have been coming in. Really enjoy hearing from uh, all of you out there. Uh, one of the, the questions that comes up um, occasionally is uh, about noise. Usually it's a, with a property that is, um, uh, say, near a highway and people have concern about highway noise and how that's going to affect uh, living there. And um, I came across some information about uh, uh, soundproofing and um, kind of set it aside as interesting. And then out on a showing not long ago, I happened to be uh, showing a condominium that was right next to the highway and, and um, uh, not only myself, but the buyers had some reservations about looking at it because of the proximity to the highway. But it was um, the, one of the developer's units, personal units, and he had put some extras into it. And I didn't realize what a, a great difference it could make because when we uh, walked into the bedroom, which overlooked a highway, um, I had totally expected a lot of noise but it was near dead silence when we were in there. So they had incorporated some things into there that I really made a huge difference. And so I thought, well, let's, uh, let's put out a little video about uh, uh, soundproofing in homes, both uh, for say new construction or for existing. Um, uh, one of the uh, main things is, is the exterior walls or the walls to the house that would, uh, you know, could transmit sound. So insulation is an important thing if you're doing new construction on those walls that have the exposure to, say, some noise sources. Um, foam insulation is a huge uh, advantage for that. It'll, it will take a lot of sound away. If you have existing, you could talk to an insulation contractor about upgrading the insulation on those walls, or if you're doing new siding, uh, adding some insulation to the outside uh, before you put new siding on. Um, on the interior and, and even like your front door and things like that, if you put a solid core door in as opposed to fiberglass or, or something else or, or foam filled doors, solid core doors also uh, reduce a lot of noise. And uh, even for interior doors, if you have, um, you want to have quieter bedrooms and things like that, having solid core interior doors will make a good difference. On the windows, there's some amazing technology on just windows. If you're looking at new construction and want to control sound, um, they have a technology. Well, it's not it's not high tech, but um, the physics of glass is kind of like a drum. And if you have uh, thermal pane windows, if there's same thickness glass, then they basically uh, resonate through the glass and uh, the sound tends to travel through. But the technology is to have a thermal pane window where you have two uh, different thicknesses of glass and so they resonate at different rates and will not transfer nearly as much sound through. So if uh, you're going to either upgrade your windows or if you're doing new construction, it's a good thing to look into. Um, and I can tell you it makes a big, big difference. Also with windows, uh, at lower uh, cost ways of doing that are there's window inserts which go on the inside, which is basically a glass insert that will help greatly reduce noise and also storm windows for the outside. If you have even like an older home and you need that extra uh, heat insulation as well as sound, that's a great way to go with uh, a good quality storm window outside. And then again on windows, you've got uh, window treatments, both heavy uh, draperies, curtains type things, or even the blinds, the new modern contemporary blinds have some sound reduction uh, construction built into those also. So uh, if you add, start adding some of those things all together to complement each other, you could do some very large um, uh, noise reduction, sound reductions in a home. Um, on the interior of the home, the other thing you can do is if you have uh, rooms that say have hard floors like uh, vinyl or wood or stone or something like that, uh, rugs, uh, some carpet, some things like that here will make a difference. Also, uh, furniture that's a little more plush will absorb more sound and, and help reduce 
both interior uh, sound sources and exterior sound sources. So there's some things just with furniture alone and wall hangings too. Um, and then finally, um, it's really interesting, uh, outside with vegetation and plants, I've seen the difference um, with deciduous trees where there's leaves in the summer and you, you, you can tell there's some type of a, a sound reduction there. And in the winter when those leaves are off, you can, you can definitely tell a difference. So uh, if, you have, if you're in an area, that's also a really easy way to create some privacy, a little bit of a sound reduction and, uh, and uh, make the, the living space a little more comfortable. Hopefully those were good ideas for you and some that uh, maybe some of you can put to use. Thank you for viewing another Hollinger Team video blog. The outro I have for our video this time is a evening show at the Northwest Montana Fair at Kalispell and a lightning storm in the background. So hope you enjoy it. It's a great, uh, real pretty shot.